Hello and welcome back to the 25Ks in GeoGuessr. After failing to get 25K last week in Mexico and the week prior to that in Chile by a couple of points every time, we might well do the same this week. I debated with myself whether to go for Australia or New Zealand for a while and in the end I decided to go with Australia mainly because I've played both of those countries in leagues before. We've had New Zealand in... I think it was season one of the Reddit League, although I'm not 100% sure anymore. And I've recently played Australia in Formula G. And the main reason I went with Australia was that that um, experience is way closer in the past. So basically everything I remember about New Zealand right now, I'll probably remember in like 10 weeks still. It, it won't change much. And it might for Australia. So we're going to do that now. Um, if we fail to get a perfect score in Australia, it's most likely going to be a scenario much more like the one in Chile, where we'll just be on a straight road, and it's going to be difficult to figure out how far exactly we are from each sort of point of reference we can find. Um, probably not another case of Mexico, and I'll be extra careful to make sure that that doesn't happen again, but we'll see. So, for now, let's just get into the game challenge i have to change up my settings here moving zooming allow well let's just uh no we're not moving i think that is though that is the right setting no time limit moving is allowed very good uh, there's the link and we're going to start in three two one go um that was the wrong key <laughs> that's the right key okay time is running I pressed, my, I pressed my start recording key by accident. Good thing that I've rebound that to not also be my stop recording key. All right. First thing you want to look at in Australia if you are in an urban area is license plates. As you can see right there, these are white. The thing that, that that tells us first off is that we're not in New South Wales. Nothing more than that at the moment. Um, license plates in Australia are different per state. The problem you'll have, well, in this case, we're in Canberra, so that's less of a problem. But the problem you might often have is that they're blurred. And even though they have a different color for the writing, the license plate itself is still going to be white. So it can be very difficult to tell um, to tell where exactly or what, what color exactly it is. Okay, how do we figure out where in Canberra we are? Um, I'm not even sure right now if Canberra has their own license plates. They might do, because they, you know, it's Australian capital territory. I'm pretty sure they have their own license plates, but they might look very similar to some some of the others. Canberra Spine Centre, Macpherson Street, and David Street. Is that something that we're likely to find? Thinking about it, actually, I don't think I've ever been in Canberra on GeoGuessr. Um, so that's certainly that's certainly something interesting. So, But unfortunately, at the same time, that means I have no idea where in the city we are. It looks quite similar, just looking at it. Like, this, this, this stuff looks like it's all the same in terms of how it would look like if you're there. Um, David Street and McCoy Street... Hmm. I think we'll just move along a bit and we'll see if we can find some pointers that tell us where in the city we could be. Because right now all I've got is residential area. Probably not in the city centre, probably not too far outside of it. That one might be helpful. <laughs> Very helpful if you don't move to a place where you can't see it. Okay, now... That's too far. That is definitely too far. Uh, move one back. I can probably see it from here. It's Northbourne Avenue, uh, Goldburn and Gunga Hill, Gungahlin on the A23 towards the north and the city centre towards the south. So it looks like this might well be where we are. And we've got Wattle Street and David Street to our east. Um, can we see... Well to our, not to our east, to our west. Uh, there's McCoy Street, there's David Street, there is McPherson Street. So we're somewhere here. So that means we can go back to the start 
we start sort of near a cul-de-sac um tate street and busby street okay so we're in busby street and we are here are we quite there sort of starts here yeah that's gonna be it nice six meters let's go okay this might be a bit more difficult to pinpoint we start in sort of a curve but <laughs> yeah that'll be interesting we'll see how difficult it actually is first off we have the arduous task of traveling for ages until we find where we're at hope town or hope to lake lasalle never heard of either of those those are always useful in australia because they tell you which uh, or they tell you one city um, that's some distance away in that certain direction in this case useless for us because we already know that the sign right next to it also says that welcome to murray outback hmm interesting it sounds like something i've heard before but i've honestly have no idea where it is just purely based off of landscape this could also be wait what were those yellow signs road closed okay not helpful uh, based on landscape this could be in loads of different places like the only places i would actually i mean obviously i can exclude christmas island and uh the keeling islands um other than that i can exclude tasmania and well i can sort of exclude this area of victoria all of this general area doesn't look like this but apart from that could really be in a lot of these places so less talking more clicking um i should look at license plates when i actually get the chance to look at cars this one's a bit too far away to get a good look but Whenever the next car comes um, in our direction, I can actually have a good look at it. Though, you know, an Australian outback might not be for another seven kilometers. Oh, don't pull me back. What does that say there? M Mali Sunsets Gallery and Rosebury Northwest Road. Okay, don't teleport me back. All right. Anything important here? There's a cafe. Um, the B200. Australian roads can be a bit annoying in that some of them aren't quite uh, the same. Wait, did I see that? I could have sworn I saw something like Miller earlier on the sign that um told me that the murray outback and there's murray bridge so this sort of feels like an area that might be close to where we're at hopetown it's this there's the b200 all right sure I, i'll take it <laughs> i wasn't quite expecting to find it so easily what what even was it i don't remember oh it's miller yeah Okay, let me go back to that sign again. I know it said Hope Town is five kilometers that way, but I don't quite remember which way that way was. Uh, a bit further. Still further? Yeah. So we, and I want to see how far we traveled to get to the sign as well. It was this sign, wasn't it? Or was that already in the Murray Outback? No, that was Hope Town. Lake LaSalle is five kilometers ahead, and the road sort of goes like this. Rosebury. This is definitely where we're at. The question is, which curve are we at? It looks very much like this one right here, where we start off. Although we probably traveled a kilometer, four kilometers from there to there. It does look unreasonable. Do we have something that tells me which road this is? No, but could that fit? Sort of doesn't quite look right. But let's see. Let's go north. There's train tracks. Those are always helpful. 
There are train tracks crossing here. The question is, do they run the right way? They sort of go north, west, sorta. Does it make a turn to the west? It does. Surely there's a road sign, uh, a street sign here. Road name, Two Mile Road. Okay, we're definitely in the right place. But where exactly? This is the side road. Okay, so we're a bit south of that, but not too far. Probably further up here, actually. Um, Showfields Road is down there. Let me check. This, I'd argue that's about... Mm, 30 meters? How far away is Showfields Road? That's not too far away. I want to go a bit further south. I think this should be it. Let me just... 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. There's Showfoods Road. And going north, we're there in one, two, three, four. Get me actually between those two clicks here. I think I'm happy with that, so let's go for that. Nice, four meters. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, there is a side road here. I hope to God that's on the map. If it's not, it's going to be a struggle. Even if it is, it's not going to be easy. Darwin Transport. Okay, so, I mean, we're looking up here just to begin with. Obviously, trucks can travel quite some distance, but purely based on the road itself sort of the general landscape. I feel like this could well be up there somewhere. The problem is, well, <laughs> if it is, we might just be traveling quite some distance again before we find anything. Um, <laughs> yeah, this, this road is very straight. Yeah, that's one of the problems you'll run into whenever you're placed somewhere in sort of that I'd call it a connecting area in the north of Australia, anywhere that, you know, connects the west and the east. Anywhere along here. I'm not going to find many street signs. Um, lots of very straight, long roads. And lots of very fun pinpointing. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to continue straight here. Is there anything else I can talk about while I'm doing this? Um, some of the... I've honestly forgotten most of the number plate specifics about Australia's territories already. Uh, I told you before, New South Wales has yellow number plates. Um, and then you've got different sort of... You've got, I think, two states slash territories that have blue stripes. Um, I think one of them has it at the top and one at the bottom. Or one has both top and bottom and one has it only at the top. Something like that. And I'm pretty sure those are um, something like Victoria and South Australia. I think Western Australia is some combination of white and blue as well. Uh, Queensland, I'm pretty sure, is brown text on a white number plate and Northern Territory is red. I should have... I mean, <laughs> I say that now. I should have checked the, the number plate on the truck, but... The truck clearly says Darwin on it. So if the truck's from Darwin, then the number plate's going to be from Darwin as well. Um, <laughs> so it's not going to help me much here. Okay. This... Yeah, this, this might take a while. Uh, does it look like it'll change at any point here? It's just very, very straight. There's a sign up, up ahead. Is it a useful sign or not? The million dollar question. Not if you go past it. What do we have here? Wanara project, 500 meters on the left. That in and of itself is useless. However, in 500 meters, we might find a decent sign. No, because we just 
literally went past it and I didn't see anything. Never mind. All right, not anything useful here. Looking forward again to seeing my path logger, seeing how far I actually travels. I think I'll continue this way for another two minutes. And if there's nothing, we're going to return to start and we're going to try the other way. Might not be, might not help at all, but it might also, like that's, that's always the thing about returning to start and trying the other way. At least in Australia, you know, like in a, on an empty road like this, you know, there's not going to be a dead end the other side, but you're always, you're always thinking, well, what, what, what if the sign is just right up ahead past the next corner? But in reality, that could be the same on the other side. It could be the same when you return to start. And there's also always like that sort of mentality I, I sometimes have where I'm like, um, I've kind of forgotten the point I was trying to make. Uh, oh yeah, where, where I'm like, well, I've already traveled this far in this direction and there hasn't been a sign yet. So some some sign has to come up soon. But... The fallacy in that is that just because I've traveled, like the, the starting location also conversely can be just right next to the sign. So it doesn't make much sense either to think like that. And we've, we've talked for one minute now. We've got one more minute to go, just going this way. Was there a sign here? There was. Good thing I didn't miss that. Well, I might have, might as well have missed that. <laughs> There's a rest stop in 20 kilometers. <laughs> I always find that hilarious in Australian streets. Yeah, sure, just drive another 20 kilometers, you'll get to a rest stop. There's also... Um, I once was on an Australian round in a... or rode in a round of a geoguesser, and it was like, um, watch out. Like, it's one of those... In Australia, they've got these zones on the road. I, I can't quite remember what they're called. Um, just pretend right now they're called no sleep zones or something like that. Or um, What they're actually trying to say is that this road is very, very boring and you're going to drive straight for a very long time, so make sure you don't fall asleep. And the distance it provided on that sign was 50 kilometers. So pretty much, you're going to drive 50 kilometers straight, <laughs> which for someone living in Central Europe is kind of ridiculous. Because you, you just can't drive for 50 kilometers straight. Even on the highways, they've got curves everywhere. Probably the, the time I've gone straight along this road is already longer than you could go straight on any Austrian road in existence. That truck had yellow number plate, uh, yellow license plate. Mm. Would speak for New South Wales. Then again, that's a truck. Might have been on the road for seven days. Who knows? Okay, I think we've reached a point. Uh, I want to see that quickly. Is there a sign here? No, I imagined it. I'm not surprised. All right. Now, good thing I actually remember which way we went <laughs> the first time around. Wait, there was something here. Might be... Oh, was it just that white thing here? Yeah, probably. That's also an... A useful skill in GeoGuessr to have is sort of having good peripheral vision. Where oh, there's a there's a rest spot just one kilometer away on the road here. Um, because when you're traveling this fast, you kind of want to... Oh, there's the rest spot. Yeah, that's very helpful. Thanks. You want to actually notice all of the signs that you're moving past. Um, and not just miss them because that can end terribly. What does that say? Lake Erie Basin. Dragina Diamanti Diamantina catchment. Lake Erie. It's here. Um, wait, Mary. That sounds familiar, but it might just be from like last round. Well, we, wasn't there something called Mary or something down here? I don't know. I can't remember. Um... Entering the Lake Erie Basin. What exactly does that tell me? Probably tells me we're not too far away from the lake. Um, if we're on this road, the lake would have to be west of us. 
Not that we could see it from here, but okay. It might provide us with more useful information this way. All I can do is hope. And there's, <laughs> there's no side roads that are named anywhere here. So I can't even go down the road, you know, and sort of look out for those side roads. Okay, nothing here, but there's a curve right in front of us. After which, surely there'll be a sign here. What is this? Just another rest area, sort of. Hmm. No, no information here. Absolutely not. What was that? SH 290 to the west. What would SH be? Um, <laughs> excuse me. To the west as well. Hmm. 290 kilometers is really far. But it's not as far as I, I would usually think in Australia. It could be on this side over there as well. I'm not even sure this road is covered, to be honest, in, in Google Street View. But what would SH be? Surely if we were on this street, going west would give us Alice Springs. And going east would give us Cuba PD. On this road... But this doesn't, like this road is west east and sort of goes northwest. So all of this basically can't be it anyway. So if we're near the Lake Erie Basin, what about this street? Surely this isn't covered. And it wouldn't really make much sense with the 290 kilometers either. We could be here, but that's still not quite fitting the road direction. So what I think is more likely is that we're here, somewhere here. I do not know what SH is supposed to be, but, well, I don't really have any other guess right now. Probably the best we can hope for. What is that? Just another rest area, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, another 20 kilometers that way. That's great. The best we can hope for at this point is that we get another sign that tells us another letter abbreviation for another city in this direction. And that this time we might know what it is. Okay, that's just nothing. Landscape. No help. That's a, okay, two kilometers for the ne next parking lot, or it's not really a parking lot parking spot for trucks what was that just grass just grass okay and what do we have here 400 meters on the left the other alternative might be we're gonna hit a state border eventually <laughs> um, Kurt Johansson Okay, question mark. Um, interesting, I guess. Don't think it's going to help me. The next one is in 58 kilometers. Brilliant. Ah, <laughs> uh, God. I feel like at this point, you know, I usually say like if we don't find it in 10 minutes or anything really even that close, we're just going to guess somewhere. But at this point... I kind of want to know where we are. I want to figure it out. I want to know why there's no information here. What is that? Is that just going to... Yeah, it's just going to be SH in 300 kilometers. Great. <laughs> they put two so close together in this direction. Why am I not seeing any for what's in the other direction? People want to know what's this way too. At least I hope people do. 
Maybe this is a one-way trip. This road, only, this road is only meant for people driving towards the west. No driving towards the east here. It's forbidden, strictly, by law. Which means we're currently doing something illegal because we are currently driving towards the east. Um, there's a red sign here. Will you provide me with information that is not completely unnecessary for me? Warning crosswinds. So much for that. All right. What was that? Probably just telling me the next truck rest spot is 53 kilometers away. No, there's, there's one five kilometers away. Okay, fair. Sure. Just not a, not a spot for trucks to rest, but for campus. That's really funny though, how they, they've put so many signs out saying, okay, this random city with ace, uh, with S H is, wait, what was that one? Is this far away to the other side? And then there's the other side. It doesn't matter. Pull over when sleepy. Yeah, I'm sleepy right now. I can't pull over. I got to find out where I'm at. I'm lost. Uh, I'm so close to just having another look at the map. And figuring out where the uh, what the hell this SH town is. Plan your next rest. 85 kilometers. Good to know. What is that? Okay, that's just for the rest spot. Belt up. Sudan boar. Boar. Yeah, it certainly is a boar, this place. Enjoy your rest. What even is that? At this point, I'm, I'm sort of ignoring the timer. 130. Okay. Plan your next rest. 65 kilometers. You're telling me that it wasn't 130 so far? Or are you just reminding me again? Because it's been seven... Um, it's been seven, 70 kilometers since the last time you reminded me of this. What was that? Old. Is that old or is that Queensland? <laughs> I feel like it's probably Queensland. Queensland in 120. Which makes me go and think probably the Lake Erie thing is irrelevant. Um, and once, like, it kind of makes me want to go up here again but even up here I can't find anything that starts with SH mm. I could think of somewhere like here because this is sort of very west east or Queensland alternatively could be down here somewhere but still it doesn't really change much here either what is SH? I'm kind of thinking as well, is it SH in the sense that it's sort of a two letter city and the first one starts with S or not two letter, two word city and the first one starts with S and the second one starts with H or does it generally begin with SH? Um, Catherine doesn't start with S, that's certainly not. Adelaide River, no. East Arnhem, Nulan Bui. None of these start with S. There's nothing here that starts with S whatsoever. Um, down here, Queensland, Queensland. Queensland is just a state name, right? Or the territory name. There's no city that's called Queensland, surely. Would there be an, a different city that has a similar name? Just starting with Q and then having an L in there and a D? <laughs> I mean, the problem is at this point, I'm not even sure if I found out roughly where I am, whether I can pinpoint it, because... We've traveled like 100 kilometers so far in 17 minutes. And, well, we haven't really found anything. So I don't know how far we've traveled exactly and where sort of the middle of all of this is. Is this the promised land? 
Mm -hmm. But I mean, at least sort of the landscapes changing drastically here. Roads subject to flooding. Yeah, maybe try, you know, try some trees. Maybe that would stop the flooding. I can see why this is road, why this is subject to flooding in the part we were in early. It wasn't. Okay, it's just that little stretch of road I see. Maybe we're in sort of a, a swampland or a swampy area. And any sort of rainfall whatsoever would make the road flood. Okay. But yeah, just thinking about the whole distance we've traveled, it is very, very much just a west-east road that makes a few bends here and there. So we're definitely nowhere near Lake Erie. We can't really be, because anything that's sort of east-west around there isn't covered. We've got maybe these two roads, but none of them are east-west whatsoever. Okay. Maybe. Maybe we'll find a sign sometime soon. Please sign your roads better, Australia. I mean, at... at on one hand, I totally get it. There's absolutely no option for you to change where you're going here. You're driving this way. You're going to know where you're driving. If you don't know where you're driving, if you're lost and you're driving in the wrong direction for 200 kilometers, then... <laughs> Sorry, no fuel. It's good. Um, well, then that's kind of your own fault, I guess, at this point. And Australia punishes you for that. They're not going to tell you you're driving the wrong way. Figure it out for yourself. Which is, you know, we're taking a nice road trip through the country at this point. I mean, I assume part of the reason why, why you're watching these videos is that you want to see, see a bit more of the country. Or, and, well, probably get some tips on how to differentiate between certain areas of the country. And I can tell you. This is certainly somewhere in this sort of area. <laughs> now, it, it, I think we're somewhere up here in this area, but even if we're somewhere there, it's, it's not helpful. Uh, especially because, well, I can't find any cities that match what I've found on the signs, on the few useful signs. The other thing is I can tell you about, well, these signs aren't going to change for the next 120 kilometers, although we've probably walked 20 kilometers in the mean, uh, in the meantime towards this direction. So might only be 100 kilometers to go until we reach Queensland. Or honestly, that might help us. If we know we're in Queensland, um, I can probably tell which road it is that we're entering Queensland's through um this is just going to be another useless sign that's telling me yep there's crosswinds here hmm austro uh not austria australia really needs more people they've got all of this area that's completely uninhabited well not completely we've had a gas station just there without any fuel there were probably people paid by the government to move there how, how do these people live here anyway? I mean, there's no going to the shops or anything. You're going to have to be completely self-sufficient if you're here. Is that tell me anything? Truck rest area. Strictly no camping. Well, shouldn't put symbols that look like you're supposed to camp here on your signs then. What is this one called? D.D. Smith. Double D. Smith. Sure. It's just going to tell me 500 meters that way. But you can't miss any sign because if, if it was that one sign that we've been looking for for 22, almost 23 minutes, then it would be quite tragic on the, on one hand. On the other hand, quite ironic to miss it. This is just going to be useful again. So even though I know that all of these signs are useless, I just said useful, didn't I, earlier. Uh, even though I know that all of these signs are useless, I'm still going to look at them. Okay. 
Wait. But, uh, okay, this time it's, it's Rankin Road. Our first road. Our first road name. Um, not yet helpful, but this sign here. This is what we've been looking for all this time. Mount Isa. I know that. I've seen it earlier. I need to find it again, that's for sure. But I know I've seen it earlier. So I know I can find it. Um, but where did I see it? Did I see it earlier when I was looking around here? Or did I see it earlier when I was looking up here? I think I saw it earlier when I was looking up here. So I'm going to look here again. And it's to our east. There's Rankin. There's Camel Wheel. There's Mount East. So it was this road. For sure. There's Tablelands. We didn't come across that, did we? And, I mean, I was looking at this road often. You could see me looking at this and... <laughs> saying in my mind that this is not... SH. I still wonder what SH is all about in this scenario. But, alright. We're 100 kilometers from Camel Wheel. And we're near Rankin Road. And I assume Rankin Road is going to be somewhere around this area. Huh. Alright. So we know which road we're on. Now comes the fun part. Oh, God. There is a rest stop here. And the road generally just goes very directly towards the west here. For a while. So we're just following that. And then we're going to see which direction it turns into next. Maybe there'll be a sign that I missed on my first walk through here. Probably there won't be. And it continues, and it continues, and then eventually it curves towards the north. Okay. That's something, and it's it's quite drastically curving towards the north, actually. Which means there's, <laughs> there's like seven different areas where that happens. Obviously, this would all be too close. And there's Rankin. So the first sort of... thinking it's here, somewhere, on this long, long straight road. But there's this little side road here, and this is what I want to look at. There's this road here, but I think at this point it's already too late for that to be that road. But would it really be? Because at this point, it's just going straight again. The question is, would there be... What other options do I have if it's not this? It could be this. There's this road here that also doesn't quite fit. Because the road I was looking at, I'm pretty sure didn't turn. But let me check that again. That, to me, seems like a very straight road. Okay, so I'm going to go the other way. And this does turn towards the south. All right. So we're pretty much looking at something that goes from going northwest, southeast, for a long time, and just makes one slight little break in doing that. What about this? It's the Barclay Highway rest area, but there's this massive lake here. Although, I mean, I'm not sure about that lake anyway, considering the road goes right through it. But it sort of fits in concept. This, if we compare it to, the thing that, that worries me here is that this is far too long. And it also sort of goes north here before turning off, and then it turns off way too slowly. This is another option that could be close, but the problem here is that it's way too close to Rankin. 
Do we have anything? What about this? Sparkly Highway, whatever this is. This also looks like it might be a match. I really like the look of this, but it's just this lake that's annoying me. I'm pretty sure we must have gone past here and we must have missed the road going off here. I'm going to go a bit further south here. There's another rest area right to our south along that road. That might be on the map, actually. What was that sign saying? Yeah, there's the Lake Erie Basin. Georgina Diamantina Catchment. What does that even mean? Do you have a rest area here? It doesn't really look like it. I can't see one. It's much closer. What about much closer here? No. Also not. What about the other one up here? No. It's not here. But here it does another curve. It curves even more south. Almost makes a turn, but it stops just short of it. And it goes completely straight towards the south. Which is even more confusing because it doesn't do that here anywhere. Apart from here. There's this little rest area here. There's a side road. What about up here? Is there a road going south? Not necessarily. But there is this thing here. I don't know quite what that is supposed to represent. It might just be. Because I'm pretty sure this is the only way. For this to reasonably make sense. If we are indeed here it's risky but this is shortly before this is the side yeah okay okay never mind never mind about risky this is definitely where we are but that then confuses me about rank and road it kind of makes me want to look at where rank and road actually is because it has to be somewhere way over here is that Rankin Road? That's Sudan Austral Dawns or Downs. I've seen Sudan before. Where the hell is Rankin Road? There's Rankin Road. I found it. It's over here. Nowhere near Rankin. I mean, I guess in Australian sort of terms, it is close to Rankin. All right. We found out where we are. Now we better make 100% sure we get the full 5k points on this. Um, God, this is... Wait. Okay, uh, just, you know, cautious. Two, sort of two to the start. And in the other direction, how far is it? One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen to sort of where this starts. Yeah, I think this is good. So we're going to guess there. Oops. And we got nine meters. We're going to look at the path logger afterwards. Okay, <laughs> This is better. We're not going to take another 30 minutes on this one. Uh, yeah, sorry that took so long. I hope you still enjoyed it. If any of you even watched that. It was certainly fun. I very rarely spend 30 minutes in Australia looking for something and actually have fun with it. But I guess, I guess we got the 5k in the end. It paid off. Okay. We're somewhere close to a body of water. If I didn't know we were in Australia, this kind of reminds me of New Zealand, which makes me want to say we're relatively close to New Zealand, uh, relatively, you know. Port Arthur Villas. Um, isn't Port Arthur somewhere over here? All of these port towns are here. Port Augusta, Port Pirie, Port Lincoln, Port Neil, Port Kenny. Um, the other thing I was thinking about was Tasmania. 
Um, but I mean, why, why am I looking for port off right away? I should just continue walking a bit. This looks like it'll lead me to some good signs here. Uh, yeah, I was right in Tasmania. I did think Port Arthur sounded like Tasmania. There's the Arthur River. Um, we're 95 kilometers from Hobart and 70 from Sorel. Which direction is Sorel from Hobart? Where even is Sorel? That's the next question. I kind of want to say we're down here somewhere. That would be cool. Or over here. There's Port Arthur. That looks about right. Although I think we're more likely to be here. This is definitely where we are right now. Can I confirm that? Probably. There's the motor in Tasman Golf Club. So yeah, this, this definitely uh, got a lot more information for me than the previous round. All right, let me go this way to check it out. There's a side road. What, is it? what do we have here? Wellard Park. Okay, some little side roads. What is this road called? This is towards the Tasman Golf Club, which is here, I assume. I would assume that this is the golf club. Can't really confirm that at the moment. I suspect we're here. Tentatively put my marker there. Um, if it is the golf club, there's a big lake here that fits perfectly. And the road goes up here and makes that turn. Yep, 100%. So, can I see your house number, sir or madam? I suppose I can't. Is that road on the map? It's probably next door at Port Arthur. This little shack here. I'm going to have to assume that's what that is. Because this down here is already the road going off towards the east. Hmm. All right. This, there's one road to a house. There's another one. We can't see any of those roads, unfortunately. All we can do, really, is take a look at which, which of these houses is recognizable. <laughs> Basically, which of these is the beach shack? Is this the beach shack? Is any of these the beach shack? They all sort of look like it. All right, there's this curve. If I'm here, and I'm assuming, since those two houses are very close together, and I think this might be these two, I'm going to assume this is 262, and we're looking for what are we even looking for? Well, you know what? We'll just count houses. Are all of them here? Probably. And they they ascend in twos. So we're going to say this is 264 and this is 266. Or actually, this is further ahead. This is 266. This is 270. This is 272. This is 274. This is going to be, um, oh God, this is going to be 276, probably. This is going to be the beach shack. This is going to be the beach shack. Oh, this, this is 284. This one actually says it right here. That's nice. Okay, so this is that one, which means this one right here is probably 290 and this one would have to be 292 and we start right where we are right now so between 290 and 292 so we start here if I look straight south we look past 292 and if I look straight west we look past 290 so we're over here and I'm gonna guess there and we're 11 meters off Close, but still two, uh, still four points. Oh, God. 
I hope you're looking forward to another round of traveling in a straight line for a while. Okay. It's not the same straight line as it was before. This is a different straight line. It looks, it also looks like if you look at the landscape, it's a lot drier. Whether that's going to help me or not, I don't know. The main problem we've got right here is for round three, we at least had some good reference points. We had that side road going off. Was there a sign there? No. Um, and we had that rest area close by. For this one, I didn't see anything near the start. That could have been helpful. We're going to travel for a short distance in this direction. And now I'd like to switch. The main reason for that is there's a side road, but that's not going to help me much for pinpointing. It's too far away. The main reason for that is that I would hope the other direction has something closer by. That's basically it. <laughs> I have no actual logic that would mean traveling the other direction is smarter or is going to get me to my goal earlier. Do not overtake. Why? I mean, I think the sign is trying to tell me that the road is narrow. So don't try to overtake because you might hit the car you're overtaking. On the other hand, if you can't overtake on this road, you shouldn't be driving a car. What does that say? Road work ahead, drive slowly. All right. Because really you've got about you can see about 10 kilometers into the distance if there's any cars. So realistically, even if you're driving two kilometers faster than the car in front of you, you can probably make a safe overtake. All right. You know what? We'll go, we'll take that turn. Just because it's the first turn we found in this direction. And maybe there'll be some useful information afterwards. If not, if it just turns out to be another long and straight road, well, then that's that. All right, I'm just going to go over that, over that little hill or whatever that is, because I want to see how long it continues in a straight line. Just quickly get me over there. Long is the answer to my question, so we're going back. All right, let's try west. Is that a rest area? No, not really. But there's a small side road that might potentially be on the map. What sort of number plate do you have? This person, yeah, that see what I mean with, yeah, that's a white number plate. Great. I can tell you it's not yellow. That's about it. Can I tell you what color the text is on the number plate? I can't even tell you if there is any text. All right, please. Ellendale, 24 hours stopping litter disposal points. Okay. 100% not something I can find on the map without any further information on where we are. But once I have found it, I think I can work with this. It's still going to come down to a lot of luck trying to pinpoint, but it might be possible. <laughs> On the other hand, what is that? Grass, bush, <laughs> nothing that is going to make this any quicker. So I'm just going to lean back and I'm going to click my left mouse button. Is this a small little farm? Probably. Um, yeah, just if I had to guess, this is also, you know what, actually, the more I travel here, the more I think it's it's possible that we might be somewhere like just a bit further up the road, like here or on the road up here, anything like that. So what I'd really like at this point is another one of these signs that tells me SA just 700 kilometers that way. Uh, 
why do, why do I always use numbers uh, that somehow have a seven in them anyway? I've noticed this myself that usually, you know, you, you have a sort of set number that you gravitate towards that you use when you want to say just a number that doesn't really matter what number it is, but you're sort of just over-exaggerating. And I've recently noticed that every time I do that, there's somehow somehow the number seven's involved. Like it's either like 17 or it's seven or 70 or 700. I don't know why, but that's an interesting thing I thought about while I was clicking through rural Australia. There is actually two roads going off here. That's all the information it gave me. All right, uh, more flooding. At some point, you just automatically know what a sign's going to say before you've even read it. It's Australia. It's in the middle of nowhere. There's a sign. It's either going to be a rest stop. There's going to be flooding. It's going to be a speed limit. Or it's going to be road construction work that, you know, tells you, be careful here. Or in the in a very rare case, um, it's going to be useful. <laughs> Okay, this direction isn't much better than the other direction. It's still just... Yep, it is certainly a road. Um, please. Flooding. <laughs> of course it's flooding. What else would it be? Why is there even danger of flooding in Australia? I swear it doesn't rain much in Australia. Well, I guess that's that's sort of the point. In case it does actually rain, the floor and the ground is so dry and hard that the rain can't properly uh, go into the ground. So it's just going to flood the road. I guess that makes sense. Oh, uh, just another parking lot. I, I'm just thinking right now, I don't think there is any country on Earth that has worse signage than Australia. I'm mainly talking about rural Australia here. Honestly, if we'd been in Russia, we would have found some signs already. Definitely, 100%. It's just Australia. I can't think of any other country. Like, even countries like Brazil has lots and lots of road markers around that at least tell you what road you're on. They might not tell you much else. Or is that just a bollard? I think it was. But at least they'll tell you that. Um, yeah, Russia has every, I'd say, average about every 10 to 15 kilometers. It has a sign that tells you some of the bigger cities. And even then, it's so it's it's populated enough that every couple of kilometers, you'll see a sign for like a small city that's like, this city is two kilometers that way, even if it's pretty much useless for you at, well, like most of the time, if you're trying to find out which area of Russia you're in. But it's, it's at least something. It gets you excited. Oh, there's a town sign here. What is... Th why is this... Okay, it's... it's uh, I won't question. Um, other countries that are big, I mean... South Africa's got plenty of signs everywhere. Uh, the US has plenty of signs. A lot of them aren't particularly useful, but there certainly are plenty of signs. Canada has... Canada is probably also one of the countries that... If you're really in the middle of nowhere, you might just take quite some time to find something. But it's nowhere near as bad as uh, Australia is. What is that sign? What is the other side of it? More so. Oh. Interesting. I'm assuming it has something to do with flooding as well and less so measuring yourself. Especially because that's going to be another... Uh, yeah. Another... <laughs> Sign telling you about flooding in the area. Oh, there's a turn. The excitement. I can barely contain it. There's a car here. Sort of a van. Love this land. Wonderland AV. Well, it's the same thing. It's just a white number plate. I mean, it doesn't really matter anyway which state it is. I pretty much know which state it is. 
It's going to be Northern Territories. Wait, did that say anything? Is there a sign here? Blina Station. Okay. I'm guessing that might be on the map. But it just comes down to the same thing as we had before. I can't even remember what it was. I think it was Ellendale or something like that. More flooding. That uh, that rest area was called. That might be on the map. But it's definitely not going to show up at any sort of decent zoom level. Hmm. It looks like there's another... Okay, maybe I was just imagining another curve. <laughs> Hoping it would eventually come. But I mean, we've seen this in round three already. Eventually, patience will be rewarded. There will be a sign somewhere. And if nothing else, if you've watched all of this video, you will have seen a lot of Australia. You won't have seen a lot of Australia. You will have seen the same places that look the same almost it's a bit drier than the other one um but yeah you uh, technically you won't have seen a lot of australia but you'll have seen a lot of the north the northern territory do they just not have any cities around here whatsoever at this point i would have expected at least one of those signs that's telling me like a city is this way at least it can be 700 kilometers. See? There's a 7 in there. It can be however far away that it wants to be. This is just going to be flooding again, I know. Um, but just surely, eventually, they'll tell me where we are. This looks like an actual town or city, maybe even. This is huge news. At the hour mark on the timer... We might even get to the air. Ah, no, it's flooding again. <laughs> we might even get to see a city in the middle of nowhere. That please, <laughs> please have some sign that tells me where I'm entering. Is that even a city or is it rocks? Like mountains. I'm not sure. I'm going to hope it's a city. If it's not. Well, it's rocks. God damn it. I was thinking it was some sort of factory. But considering how far we traveled already, uh, doesn't match up anyway. That would have had to be one massive factory. All right. Please at least tell me what sort of rock you are. It's not going to help me in finding you, but... Not like you'll do much worse. Obviously. There's there's a turn off here. Do you want to know where this is turning off to? Tch, why would you? Okay, it's it's not even really mountains, it's just grass or dirt hills. Ooh, there's another turn. I could have I could just fast forward this in video editing, but I'm not going to. Okay. It's gonna be straight again. Floodway. There comes a point when I'm just stopping. I will find out where we are. I've got 20,000 points. I will not stop. And even if it takes me an hour, I will find a sign that tells me where we are. I'm probably not going to be able to pinpoint it anyway. But I will find that sign. And it might just take an hour. Next... What does it say? Next 33 kilometers, there's going to be cows. Lots and lots of cows. Ignore that I've not seen a single cow while driving past there. It's going to be flooding. I know it. 
I know it is. There's flooding. I don't even have to read it anymore, but if it's a white sign, it's useless, so I don't really need to read it anyway. All I care about is green signs. Is there something here? Nope, just a bush. Uh, they really really could have made those small signs that say just a letter on them stand out a bit more and not have them look like bushes because that means every time I see a small bush I'm gonna have to turn around if I'm not completely sure that it is a bush and not a sign I feel like we're getting into an area that's a bit less dry Wait, what is that just more rest stops. Yep, and one kilometer. Okay. So we'll definitely get to that. Oh, it's a nice little place here. Utterly useless to me at the moment. Um, this... Liveringa station. 17 kilometers that way? Yep. Okay. There's all of these stations around here. I'm, I don't know what they do. If someone knows, tell me. I'm assuming they sort of... Uh, explore the outback? Search for rare species of animals and plants? That's what I guess they're doing. Maybe studying climate change? It's not much else you can do out here, is there? They've certainly got their peace and quiet out here. What sort of number plate do you have? Oh, yellow is, but the white one in the middle. At this point, I might as well talk a bit about what country's going to come up next week. We've finally gone through all of the continents that have countries on them that are covered in Google Street View. So, we're going back to step one, back to Europe. Oh, by the way, this, you can see that. That might be blue writing on there. Doesn't look red or brown, at least. So, yeah, we're going back to Europe. I'm not quite sure yet what countries I would like to do. There's a couple that come to mind that I might want to do. There's a couple where I'm like, no, not really. Probably not Germany or Switzerland because we've just done Austria. And, well, you know, not, well, not too much of the same. It's, well, it's not what you want to have. Then also probably not, probably not France. Um, again, just two, uh, no, not, not France. I can't really explain it well. Don't want to do it right now. Where else could we go? Spain, potentially. Maybe Portugal. I could see that. Uh, I'd love to do Norway, but now that I've done so many countries that are relatively difficult to pinpoint I mean at least well, tech, uh, technically Mexico isn't that difficult to pinpoint it was just you know you saw what happened but I'd rather do a, a country that's not too hard to pinpoint um, which kind of at the same time then makes me not want to do Spain there we go Okay. Fitzroy Crossing is here. Halls Creek. Okay, we're over here. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, the question is where exactly over here are we? We're definitely not down here. We're very much still up here somewhere. Chimbalak Hudunj Community Mount Hardman. Uh, do we have something? 
That's an interesting name. Cowanyer Da, Ellendale Road. That sounds good. Potentially where we started. So let's go back. And let's let's see again. How far was that? Um Yeah, other countries that I love to do Malta. I might I might do Malta next week. Um probably nothing in the Balkans. Not this week. Or like not next week. This was quite a distance away. There's Allendale, and it sort of goes towards the south, though, and Allendale Road goes towards the north. Which kind of makes me think this is somewhere here to the south. That's Allendale Road. Hmm. What's the road now? We just. We just turned, didn't we? Right now we're going northwest. And where we started, we were going s almost straight. So I think we might be starting over here. It goes on very far towards the east before it makes a turn. And I travel quite a distance. It could reasonably be here. Um, let me think. I need to watch out and make sure that it's not here. This has two turns. And then it goes back. Could it be here? No, that is never steep enough. It could technically be here, I suppose. But this has quite a few roads. You know what? I'll check it. Oh, no, don't go east. East is the bad direction. Going west, looking at the turn, it's coming up right here, and it's a very gradual turn. All right, and we're still okay. And then it goes on for ages. This is a bit too steep, I think. But this might be too shallow, actually. If I look at this. Actually, no, it might be all right. We sort of continue that. That's also a trick you can do to make sure road lines match up. That looks pretty much dead on. If you look at that. So this might well be it. This is a very gradual turn. But how on earth am I supposed to tell how to pinpoint this? There is nothing here. Bit further to the west. Can I find a road? There is one road here. Sort of. Is that even a road? Or is that just... Uh, there's another one here. That looks like it just goes into the middle of nowhere. Let me take that. Zoom in very far. Let me look over here. Is there a road on here? There's this. So I think this is the next thing I have to look for. There's one here as well. They don't really matter. All I need to do is look north and find that side road. Because that will give me a much better estimation how far I've traveled. I think at this point, 5,000 points is almost entirely impossible. Was it there? No. Because I've got nothing here. Um, this is the road. Okay, so we traveled quite a distance. So we're definitely much further over here. Do I really want to try it? Do I want to try counting steps in both directions? You know what? We've spent an hour and 13 minutes on this. Let's go. Well, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 26, 27, 28, there's a road south as well, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. This is going to take forever. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 60. I'm not even sure anymore. Never mind. I think I've miscounted. <laughs> I can see that. We're definitely closer here. But there's just nothing here. Do I just... Do I just say... Okay, one more try. This is not nowhere near as accurate, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine to start the corner but it's something it gives me more of an estimate even if it's rough one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and a half so not quite that far over there i think here that's one two three slightly further over here oops uh, one two three bit further if we have it like that that'd be one two three i think that might be that might be where i'm gonna have to put it and call it quits because I have no idea how I would possibly get closer. Because even if I were to count every single step and I'd be like, well, this way is 92 and this way is 194. That's not going to help me at all. I know it's roughly one third of the way from here to here. But this is the best I can do. So... This is this is not going to be within the the necessary limit, but we're going to guess in three, two, one, go. It was so close. <laughs> that I, honestly, I think I did really well with what I had there. I lost one point, just that slight bit further over to the east. How far did we travel? Yeah, quite a distance. Wasn't too bad, though. Let's have a look at round three. You can see there, I think that's due to the path logger, that it takes a bit to load, just because there's so many lines on the map. Okay, where where was round three again? Oh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I like how it's this is massive Australia. You zoom in a bit and you can already see the path logger. All right. It's not even that bad all the way around here and we did in fact not make it to tablelands that's sort of why i went off of that idea of we tr have to have traveled through here afterwards anyway because surely you would have noticed that right let's look at it on the map or in, in street view itself and they also kind of want to measure it um but before i measure it Show me what this intersection looks like. Yeah, yeah, totally. You can't miss that. Now then. Um, how can I do that? There's this road here. What is it even called? Oh, Rankin Road, obviously. And over towards this side. That's sort of half or sort of below the... Yeah, that, that works. Um, up to here. Here, I would say. Well, I should just start with just making it like this. Jesus, 
that's already really far and it's not even close to how far we actually traveled let's make this as accurate as we possibly can without spending forever to do it but I certainly want to find out how far we went up to here that goes down here this goes to here slight curves there put that here if you didn't know about this 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 is a really cool thing that Google Maps allows you to do it's just measuring distances just moving these lines like this it's something I do quite a lot <laughs> mostly when I when I want to figure out how far I actually traveled because that's something I'm not very good at judging um, just based off of feeling alone as I've proven quite a few times in the past due to missed pinpoints because I thought I had traveled way further or way less and we've traveled oh Jesus Christ we've traveled over 100 kilometers <laughs> all right sure yeah that's certainly quite a distance and actually let me just for comparison I want to check out round five as well um yeah that's that's easy to tell and for this one it's not that easy to tell it's about halfway between those two roads there uh this fits or Fitzroy I don't really know um wait there's these I don't know if it's the contrast on my monitor but it's really difficult to see these two roads unless I'm straight up looking at them if they're in sort of the periphery of my vision I can't see them okay that's not too bad yet up here we never really saw the Jalam, uh, Jambala Kudunch community that much I mean we've seen some houses around there did we actually travel further we actually traveled pretty much the same distance Another 100 kilometers to add to that. So in this video, we've traveled over 200 kilometers in Australia. That's also something not a lot of people can say. But they, in one round of GeoGuessr, they have traveled, or not one round, in one game of GeoGuessr, they have traveled over 200 kilometers. All right. Sure. That's going to be that for this, um, this week's episode in Australia. Uh, that... I mean, I can't even say this doesn't quite accurately represent the experience that you normally get when playing Australian GeoGuessr. This is 100% what it's like. <laughs> we could have gotten lucky and could have had a seed with just urban locations like Perth, Adelaide, Melbourne, Canberra, Brisbane. There you go. But no, ac definitely, uh, the map doesn't lie. Um, it's balanced by territories and, and areas. It certainly is balanced. And now I'm... Ah, I'm not quite on the leaderboard, I guess. Just in fourth place. But it was close. And yeah, that's going to be it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video, despite its length, or maybe even because of its length. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.